Welcome back. We're exploring the Swan. It seems to be the hub area of the firmament. Giving us access to the these conveyor pots. That can take us to different places. But we're still looking around here, so... Not quite looking into that yet. Noticed before that there are some side uh, chambers. Appear to be dormitories. Are these rooms? They're numbered. They seem to be rooms. Two, four. Hmm. The only difference between a heresy and the truth is time. <laughs> I wonder, do you agree? Um, I don't know. I don't think heresy and truth are necessarily opposed. Because heresy could be opposing religion, which may not be true. I mean, there's probably people who call Galileo's findings heresy, and they were true. So maybe that's the point. Like, if it's considered a heresy now, maybe later when we found out find out more, it would be truth. I'm probably overthinking this. Anyway, I have to say that uh, our mentor showing up and talking kind of reminds me of Escher in Mist 5, which is not uh, not exactly a great thing to be remembered of. Granted, she is less annoying because uh, her little tidbits of speech are shorter most of the time. And... Um, also, don't actually interrupt gameplay, because you can you can still walk around while she's talking. I just don't, because I don't want to talk over her. And, you know, I love talking. If you don't know that, why are you watching my videos? Um, anyway. Almost looks like this dormitory has a spine. I'm assuming this is like a pipe carrying something or other. Um, more surgical diagnosis and treatment books, and a firmament card deck. I want a firmament card deck. Um, looks like these doors are mostly shut, except for this one, which is at seven or nine. It's it's seven. Numbers are on the left. Let's see what we can find. Some posters. Firmament. A desk with a book on it. Different cover, at least, than the technical manual, I think. So we'll look at that in a second. We answer, we know, we keep. Keepers together. Our answers will provide. The firmament will prevail. Keepers together. That's a weird looking thing. No idea. Maintain the firmament. Keep. Okay. And that's just creepy. This lamp fell down. It's still working though, so... Obviously, somebody slept here. I don't know if it was uh, our mentor or somebody else. There were clearly a lot of people here if they have this many dorms. And there's... Uh, 12 in this hall alone. I'm assuming there might be 12 in the other room as well. The other side chamber, assuming that's another dormitory. So where is everybody? put to sleep by our mentor. Why are we here alone if we're a keeper too? It doesn't really make sense that, you know, put all the keepers to sleep and then wake up one of them 
to do all the work. And clearly, work needs doing, considering the state of some of the things we've seen. This is not the first thing we've seen that's in disrepair. Very strange indeed. Let's take a look at this. The Keeper's Poem. Observe the firmament above, our waking lights shine bright. Our comrades in the tapestry, a wondrous restful sight. The lights, the lights, the lights of wake, alive above our head. The dark, the dark, the dark of sleep, deep sleep we do not dread. The vault is ours to contemplate, a canvas of our lights, an ever coruscating web, the hallmark of our nights. The lights, the lights, the lights of wake, the keeping mission binds. The dark, the dark, the dark of sleep, the threshold clears our minds. The firmament, we know our task, the realms promise to keep. We pledge our waking hours to these, until our time to sleep. The lights, the lights, the lights of wake, the realms are sore adored. The dark, the dark, the dark of sleep, we sleep to be restored. Some day the realms shall be fulfilled, arrivers shall draw nigh, they shall awaken the embrace, our destiny supply. Seems to be the end of the poem. Um, awaken the embrace, that's what we're apparently doing. Again, wish I knew what that actually meant. Um, the other interesting thing here is that Threshold clears our minds. Like, we apparently are a blank mind. And we are emerged from the Threshold, so that's just something that happens, I guess. If you go into this sleep in the room we saw, the thresholds, your mind gets erased, I guess. Or part of it. That seems like a bad thing, maybe? I don't know. Definitely still getting some creepy vibes of this. Let's see, there's more in this book, though. The Keeper's Parable. In other realms that we cannot reach, there were other keepers who lived and worked together in happiness and harmony. The keepers contributed to the firmament mission and to the common good, and they shared happily the fruits of their labor. One day, a keeper awoke from the deep sleep with a new idea, a different idea, a troublesome idea. This troublesome keeper decided there could be a different way of doing things, a way he called more. Um, this troublesome keeper tried to convince the other keepers that they could work for their own benefit rather than for the good of all. And this troublesome keeper said that all could accumulate more, and having more could make them happier. At first the keepers were skeptical. Like all keepers before, they lived with reason and measurement, and they knew such a way of more seemed against reason and measurement. They asked where more would come from, and how long it could continue. The troublesome keeper provided ridiculous answers, claiming that more could come from everywhere and would last forever. They laughed, but the troublesome keeper persisted. The persistence of the troublesome keeper wore down their thoughts of reason and measurement, and they became tempted by the promise of more. Gradually, the keepers embraced the idea of more, their focus changed from keeping the realm to collecting the more. This seemed to make them happy at first. As time went on, they began they became consumed by more, and the realms began to suffer. The machinery began to break, and the crops began to die, and the animals became ill, and water became tainted, and the air became putrid. And the keepers also began to suffer. Some were sick, and some were hale, and some were hungry and some were fat, and some were thirsty, and some were bathed, and some had none, and some had more. And those who had more began to look down on those who had less or none, as though such a thing were possible with reasonable keepers. These realms and these keepers were dying. In the midst of this chaos, a wise keeper remembered the faithful ways of keeping. The wise keeper spoke and mentored about the faithful ways of keeping the realms 
healing and feeding and watering and caring for all, as comrades without more, but with fruits for all to share. And the wise keeper reminded them that this was the true way of reasonable and measured happiness, a happiness that could last and would be for all. And this faithful way of keeping would ensure that the mission of keeping their realm, of keeping each other, could be sustained. The keepers of the realm were able to overcome the forces of more and return to the faithful ways of keeping. They learned to let go of any destructive thoughts of more and to embrace the mission of keeping the realms and keeping each other. And all the keepers once again lived and worked together in happiness and harmony. Do not be swayed from the faithful ways of keeping. Strive to be a wise keeper. Why do I feel like I just read the Communist Manifesto? Definitely giving those kinds of vibes. Posters too. To the ends of the firmament, there is nothing we do not know. That seems a bold claim, but sure. I wonder if this parable had something to do with what happened here? Why there's no more keepers besides us? And things seem to be falling apart? Why are there scorch marks here? Actually, this room doesn't so much just seem like disrepair as it might look like it might have been a struggle. Or someone just got very drunk and angry. Also a possibility. But the scorch marks do trouble me. Um, that's more random drawings on the floor. Looks like that's the only door we can go into here, anyway. Let's take a look. Um, wait, you can actually go in the corner here. Not that there's anything interesting there, but you can. They'll contain a drawing of this as well. I wonder what this is. They talk about the lights as if they are the sleeping keepers, but I doubt that that's literal. That's the threshold. The place we apparently came from, or were dragged from. And, yeah. Another dark corner. And another side room. Like the flowers. At least, like, hydrangea? I'm not sure. Um... The end here, we have another guitar. So at least one of the keepers must have liked playing guitar. More anatomy books, they, they need a bigger variety of books there, that's what I'm seeing. Teacups. Why do I still have a cursor? It's supposed to disappear when there's nothing to interact nearby. Um, Let's see, there's actually two more open doors here. Let's check this one. Uh, somebody has been using their room as a storage room by the looks of it. Bunch of boxes and another book. Same cover as before. And yeah, it's the same book. I think this is a drawing of the that orb thing in the swan. That just is measuring equipment, I guess. I don't know. Um, it's I, for, I forget what those are called. The little thingies you use to draw circles. Um, nothing else in here. How about here, though? More diagrams and stuff. Somebody drew a sunset on the wall. Is this our painting? Um, 
Keeper, perhaps. Very nice. Uh, and another copy of this book. I got the feeling that that's just in every room. They seemed to think it was important that every Keeper had this book. Again, kind of creepy. This, though, looks different. A journal, by the looks of it. I have no one to share my agony with, and so I write. Words. How many have I learned, and even with such news, with such new ways to describe my feelings, I do not have any of these words left to express my sadness, my anger, my... How... How did it all come to pass? The truth unbearable, the void so boundless, so cold, so dark. I am struggling, grasping for understanding, comprehension. Turner, a dark power, a monster. Even he, only a tool in such a dark objective and plan. How could such darkness be handed such power? Did he seek it? Did it seek him? Does it always seek such, such servants? Was I a servant myself? Am I like him? We were all the keepers. Of, of what? We were naive souls, nourished by lies and then by his own dark power. How could he? How could I? I saved them. I lost them. I was compelled, but what now? What of me? Trapped, solitary. The burden of knowledge and deception steals my joy and my breath. My heart hurts inside of my chest. An emptiness of time stretches out before me and there is only me left to fill this time. The loneliness. How does a human live with it? The truth, the lies, the confusion. How does a human know? I am adrift, floating to nowhere in my own agony. Is there hope? Will this plan save us? Can I save myself? I wish to rid myself of such beautiful deceit, but I wonder if such a desire is even possible. It's either signed M or... I don't know, that could just be a stain, honestly. Presumably written by our mentor? And it sounds like whatever happened here had something to do with Turner. Was he the troublesome keeper from the parable? Or was he something else entirely? I do not know. I am more and more puzzled by what the purpose of all this is. They are maintaining these realms. And somebody thinks it's important enough for them to focus on that, that... They are discouraged from any distractions or any notions of individuality even. as far as that parable goes. But why, and who, and why is that light green? Okay, that's maybe a less important question, but... Still. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. So where to go now? We have three choices, it seems. And it would seem very tempting to pick a new place to go. Check out these other realms. And indeed, that's what I did the first time I played this game. But actually, I think I want to see what else we can do in Curieville first. I had an idea about that ice block. I want to try it out. So those of you who uh, were really hoping... Where were we before we were awakened? We were not allowed to ask. Hmm. 
Hmm. That's always a good sign if you're not allowed to ask questions. So those of you who were hoping that I would uh, show some new places first, too bad, you'll have to wait. Um, well, we only have the one place we can go, which is apparently Curieville Bluff. Which again, backs the question, why are there separate pods? If you can also choose... The pub always amazes me. Magically bridging the gap to its distant wells. <laughs> It is pretty uh, amazing. I guess these some some kind of teleporters, I suppose. Interdimensional transporters, linking books, whatever you want to call them. Um, what I do like a lot, uh, abduction did it too, is the working the loading screen into the lore, <laughs> like. It's not just a loading screen where you're standing there. Um, same as with the, the seed swappers in Abduction, where you can still look around. I kind of like that. It doesn't work so well in VR, though. In VR, you get the start of that animation and then just the loading screen. I don't really know why it works that way. Anyway, uh, we had a bit of a conundrum here in that um, this ice block um, can't go past the mountain. And there's a shut door with no socket to open it. So perhaps... My idea was to ride on top of the crane, but since we uh, can't get it past this point, that's kind of a problem. Maybe if we were to drop the ice, that would work, but we can't drop the ice. At least there doesn't seem to be an option for it. Um... And yeah, even if you go all the way back and lower it all the way, it will not let go of the ice. But from as far as we can see, it really is just like this little outcropping of the rock that... Uh, we are I guess we are. Um, I guess it's really just this little outcropping of rock that uh, is blocking the ice. So all we re really need to do is lower it a little bit. But there's no lowering controls on the train. Which, whoever designed that, uh, it's a big of a problem. Let's first see if this is even possible. Let's lower this. That looks like it. the ice is clearing it, but the crane isn't. Maybe that low? Um, well, that shouldn't have worked, but it did. Yeah, you can get it past that way. It's possible we can get it all the way to the ice chute. Maybe then we can drop the ice block, although I guess we don't really need to. Now we're blocked because we're too low by the looks of it. I don't really like that. I can't see what we're doing here. Let's see if we can get on the crane while it is lowered like this. Oh. Okay, that seems to be a little bit too... Um... No, I cannot get quite past there. Fine, we'll 
Raise it again. Nope, that's still too far. What's this graphic even for? Okay. Fine, I'll raise it all the way up. Now you are not allowed to complain. Okay. How far can I lower it here? Ah, uh, just a little bit. That's not going to be far enough, is it? Oh, wrong way. Nope, it is not. Can I reach that? Nope. That's too far away. But, I guess it is a good thing that we do have uh, a little bit of extra reach because based on the diagram in the display there, we should be able to lower it a little bit further as long as we're not directly in front of the the controls there. And from here I should be able to reach them. Yeah, that's where the adjunct definitely comes in handy. To do this at a distance. Let's see how low we can get the ice block now. That low might be enough. Let's try. Oh. Don't be difficult. I just want to be able to see where I'm going. Ooh, what's that? Another kind of trap. Doesn't look like it's part of this crane thing. Oh. Okay. There's a side passage here. That could be convenient. Let's just see how far we can go first. I'm curious. Let's see. Presumably to the ice chute. That has to, that has to be that, I guess. And it's too low again. How nice. Oh, I can't lower and raise it from here. That's right. Fine. Can we get off here? No, that's way too big of a gap. I guess we have to use that other platform. It's convenient. Intended to be used this way? I'm not sure. Oh, looks like this door does have a socket on this side. Which makes you wonder if maybe it was supposed to have one on this side and it's just another thing that's broken. But we managed to get past. I guess going to the swan first was not necessary. We could have just continued here, but I'm kind of happy we did see the swan. Gave us a little bit more context for what's going on. We don't have an awful lot of direction, though. I guess we have to awaken the embrace to prepare for the assembly. But again, we don't really know what that means. Um... I guess we should try to get to this structure. I definitely want to get there. Because it looks very interesting. There's a bunch of stuff down there, though. I can see... I kind of wish, like, I could... Like in the old uh, Uru days, I could right-click to get a cursor and point at things, but I can't. Um, there's, like, some structures down there as well in front of the big arch thing. And, um... Yeah, that weird track seems to continue. A 
But first, another bridge. I am sorry for the state of this repair. I performed all the duties of all the keepers for so many years. Hello. Except for my loyal adjunct. Your adjunct requires the augmentation in each arch. Find your way to all of them. Okay, well at least that was an explicit goal. We have to find our way to each arch. Presumably there's one in each uh, realm then, considering there's three augmentations mentioned in the, the little manual we saw. That is too far away. And there is again. No... Um, socket on this side. Not helpful. Again, I'm assuming there may be... Was supposed to be one here? Who knows? There's stuff down there, though. The ice chute, I guess. Uh, it looks like there's a path leading there. Another frozen lake down there, by the looks of it, with some structures in it. Interesting. There's our ice block. Um, and we are once again at a dead end. Those are too far to reach. So now what? That's a problem. Maybe if we could get the ice block there, we could do something with that. We've done that before. But I can't reach the controls. Presumably those are crane controls. But it's orange, which means too far away. I don't know what those controls are, but they're so far away they don't even show orange. Um, I could just go back to the other controls. Do it from there. I wonder though, is this an option? Let's see how far I can get doing this. I am actually not sure. Saves me some walking back, and I can actually see what's happening. Again, that's where the adjunct helps us out in being able to reach the controls from far away. Okay, I guess we have reached the end. Let's see if that accomplishes something. If I do have to lower or raise the ice block, I will have to do that at the uh, other controls, which I can get back to now because the door is open. But, no, it looks like this is a pretty perfect fit. Oh, so you're okay with that gap, but not with similar equally big gaps we've seen. Great. Um, anyway, I think the ice actually needs to go here, but uh, for us it's more convenient that it was there. can go down here, but it doesn't seem to accomplish anything. Same here. I am really hoping this hatch doesn't open automatically. It did not. Don't think I would have tried that in real life. Oh, I can do that. Shoot door. Ah, I won't let me do it. Not a Sierra game. Go up here. Uh, 
safety vigilance. Make use of appropriate equipage before descending on ice block. People descended on the ice block? Into the chute, I'm assuming? That seems like a horribly unsafe thing to do, but sure. Now I can open the chute door. Neat. Um... It's kind of hard to see, but it's, it's definitely clearer in VR. It looks like it's still blocked. Yeah. That ice cube is going to have to lose a lot of weight to fit through that gap. It might be able to take us down there, though, if we can get on top of it. Which seems to be a thing, according to the sign. I don't know, I see this and I just get the urge to find a place to shoot portals to get down there. Um, but that's not a thing. Let's take a look. Um, well, those controls just control the door, so I'm guessing these are just our regular everyday crane controls, and they are. So we can raise the hook. Guess we need to raise it all the way. Uh, we could presumably have done this all the way from the other side, the other controls as well. Alright, crane locked. Upper chute open, lower chute closed. All right. It is not letting me. I guess because the lower chute is of the lower door is uh is law is closed or the crane is locked maybe I don't really know what that means. Didn't see anywhere we could open that uh, lower door. Uh, now the ice cube's here, but it's not really helpful to us in any way. I guess we do, except none of them are here. We can go on the ice block, so going down to shoot on top of it definitely seems like a possibility. But, um... Yeah, it won't let me right now. Plus, I don't have appropriate... Equipage. Equipage. I don't... actually don't know how to pronounce that. Don't know that word. Um, I'm assuming they just mean equipment. You have to be properly equipped. Do not stare directly at the sun. Generally speaking, a bad idea. Uh, we can go this way. So let's see where that takes us. To those other tracks, I guess. Oh, this takes us to the other side of that bridge. This actually raises both of them, which kind of makes it seem like maybe it was intended to only be raisable from that side. Why, though? Were there, like, different ranks of keepers? Some of which needed to be... locked out? At times, maybe some places were just too dangerous for inexperienced ones, ones that had just awoken from the threshold to go to. And that's why some places were locked off. And then people who were already here 
could um, could open it for them. It's like 10 Downing Street. There's always someone in there. Uh, I wish I could speak to you. Do you know who you are? What your story is? Your story is you. No, I don't. I don't know who I am. Other than what you've told me so far. A keeper with a blank mind. I don't know my story. And since I don't remember it, I guess I'm not me anymore. By that logic. Looks like, um... There's Ball. On this track. Are we uh, going on a little ride? Amateria style? This looks a lot safer than traveling in what was essentially a ball made of ice <laughs> in Amateria, but still. I guess we'll see whether or not we can in the next video.